Bitnapping TV. Hi and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is Tino and as you know, I'm a Bitnapper. But today I'm not alone here. This is Achim, he's one of the developers of Boing's TV and also the co-founder of Boing Software. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Maybe Achim, you know it, one day I would like to become the governor of California. But there is one problem using Boing's TV. There's only a weather map for Germany. So when I open, and maybe as governor, I only want to have sunny days in California, not in Germany, doesn't matter to me. So I open Boing's TV and there is the weather map of Germany. I can drag it into here and it only shows the map of Germany. Is there a way to change that? Sure. Um, you just simply go to your layer repository, find the weather map and right click it to choose show in finder. Okay. This brings you to the finder and select the weather map uh, file which is responsible for creating the weather map uh, animations. Okay, what does this QTC file ending mean? Do I need anything special for editing them? Uh, this is QTC means Quartz Composer, okay. um, which is a technology by Apple and it comes free with every Mac with the developer tools. Perfect. So just by double clicking the file, uh, Finder will open the Quartz Composer and here in the editor window we find the weather map macro. Okay. Step here into and look for the Germany small image. Great. This we're going to replace with our California map. Okay. Just drag and drop it from the finder. Oh, this is very easy. And now we have to reconnect all the connections from the German weather map to the Californias, like drag and draw, uh, drag and connect the yellow strings again. Oh, that's easy. I now can I, I can see the the right map, but the size doesn't fit into the screen. Can I change that? Yeah, uh, definitely. Go into the get scaled image dimension macro. Okay. And find the code here. And in this this input, have to be a different number. For example, a smaller one, three five. Okay. And now it fits to the screen. Perfect. We also can. You also can go to the position uh, macros and change the position of the temperature and the weather map icons. Okay. Uh, for example, the position two. Click the patch inspector, and here you see the X end position of it, and by simply spinning the wheel move the icon over to San Francisco. Oh, this is really easy to edit. Also, for example, for position three, move it a little bit to the right and further down to match it to Los Angeles. Great. Also, you can get, rif uh, get rid of a position by double clicking the enable uh, input and set it to false. Okay. So the sun disappears here. This is really easy. So yeah. this is all we have to do? Uh, in the editor, yes. And then we have to uh, enter some more information for Boeing's TV to recognize the layer correct. Okay, so now we just have edited the existing weather map quartz composition and now we have to make it special for Boeing's TV. Right. And therefore, go to the edit, for the editor menu, open the information panel with edit information. Okay. And rename the weather map name import here to, for example, weather map California. Don't forget to press the enter because otherwise we will lose your data here. Also, very important to change the layer identifier. This is uh, a unique number or naming that the Boeing TV knows which one, which layer is which one. So okay. if you bring in a new one, a new weather map, for example, then Boeing we don't get confused by multiple layers. Oh, perfect. So just rename it to anything. Also press enter. And that's really it, what we have to, to do in Quartz Composer. Okay. And to make it this, uh, 
uh, appear in Boeing's TV. Just save it as a new name with a new name. Save as. Go to the desktop and also say weather map California. Now we can find the file on the finder. Okay. It's on the desktop. And here we rename the file with an extension which is .tv layer. Is this special for Boeing TV? Yes. Um, this extension tells Boeing TV that this file is actually a layer which it uh, can run natively in Boeing TV. Okay. And if we press enter and accept this dialog, you also will recognize that the icon changes for the layer yep. for this file. And by double clicking the file, That's it perfect. gets installed in Boeing's TV. Well, this is really easy. So, That's go great. ahead. So now I can use this California map for my next live broadcast. And I can turn it on. Isn't that great? This California, the weather is great. Hello everybody, my name is Tino and I would like to become the next governor of California. Maybe next time the weather is also great and not rainy or thunderstormy, whatever. Thank you very much Achim, this is a crazy tip to use Boinks TV and it's really easy to do this. If you would like to see more tips from developers or simply tips, visit our website at www bitnapping.tv. Thank you for watching. My name is Tino and maybe I'll be the next governor of California. Be a bitnapper. Email your tips to ransom at bitnapping.tv.